You can't tell the presidents without a program this inaugural season, and one of the things to keep straight is your President Harrison's. Two, H-A-R-R-I-S-O-N spells Harrison. There's Benjamin Harrison, after whom Fort Benjamin Harrison is named, as you can imagine, and William Henry Harrison. Well, let's take Benjamin first. It's uh, 1889, the Civil War is long over, but Reconstruction and full citizenship for Black Americans is still just a dream. Uh, Benjamin Harrison was the only grandson of a president ever to be elected president. We've had sons and fathers, of course. He also became the only incumbent to lose in the next election to the candidate he'd previously beaten. Harrison's speech is a third or so shorter than his grandfather's, but still longish for an inaugural address. He deals with expansion into the Dakota territories and general domestic conditions. He takes a stab at industrial policy, wondering why the cotton producing states should not have led or walked abreast with the New England states in the production of cotton fabrics. Kind of like the Canadian question, why don't we make the shredded wheat out in the prairies where we grow the wheat? Hmm, interesting. Uh, Benjamin Harrison was a little early on the development of the Sun Belt, but he does note mill fires were lighted at the funeral pyre of slavery. He's isolationist and he's cautious on immigration. 1889, Benjamin Harrison.